Arriving in Aden, the head of a United Nations monitoring mission. Patrick Kamert is a retired Dutch general with experience in some of the world's worst conflicts, the DRC, Sri Lanka and Cambodia. Other members of the UN team touch down in Yemen's capital, Sana'a. The group will be heading to the strategic port city of Hodeida, where they're tasked with monitoring a fragile ceasefire and overseeing the vital reopening of the port, a gateway for food and aid supplies into a country where millions of people are in desperate need of both. The general, for sure, has an expertise in this domain, and we know that he will meet with the other side very soon, and after that, God willing, the mission of the observers in Hodeida will start. In Hodeida, life is returning to the city's streets. The ceasefire between Saudi UAE-backed government forces and Houthi rebels is seen as the first significant breakthrough in peace efforts since the war started in 2014. We look forward to the ceasefire. We hope it's going to be observed not only here, but nationwide. We hope the Saudi-led coalition will learn a lesson. After four years of war, we haven't faltered or retreated. Even if 40 years pass, we will never budge or abandon our basic principles of dignity, freedom and independence. The monitoring mission comes a day after the UN Security Council unanimously approved a resolution authorizing the deployment of observers to Hodeida following negotiations in Sweden. The warring sides also agreed to a prisoner swap of some 16,000 detainees. The UN calls Yemen the world's worst humanitarian disaster. The war has killed an estimated 60,000 people. As many as 85,000 children may have starved to death. It's hoped that by bringing stability to Hadeda, the rest of this ravaged country may eventually follow. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera.